List aggregation is a feature that allows you to transform your data by consolidating information about related entities into a new column, which is a structured list. Imagine you have a data set where each row represents an item you bought at the grocery store with multiple rows per shopping trip. Using list aggregation, you can group and summarize these rows based on common attributes like a shopping trip. The aggregation will collapse the rows, which are per item, into rows per trip and will include a new column, which is a list of the items purchased during that visit. You'd now have a row per shopping trip. In this demo, I'm working with Formula One related data, which you can see in the preview query, where each row represents how a driver placed in a particular race. I want to use list aggregation to change the structure of my data set, so each row represents a single race and a new column contains a list of the drivers that placed in the top three. To get started, I'm going to click on the aggregate step. This step is where we will perform the list aggregation. In the aggregate field, I'm selecting the text column that I'd like to aggregate, which in this case is driver ref, which is the column containing driver names. In the function dropdown, I'm selecting list aggregate. I'm providing a new name for the new column that will be generated, and I'm choosing a delimiter to separate the list items. You'll also need to select one or more columns to group by. So in this case, I'm grouping by name, uh, which represents race name, F1 date, and race ID. You can see a preview of what the output data set will look like when we run the data flow, but we've changed the aggregation so that for each race, I'm now able to see the race winners in a list in a new column. For more details about how ListDAG works, please visit the documentation. I'm now saving and running the data flow to generate that output data set. At this point, I'm navigating to a workbook that I created using this output data set. I've created a table visualization using some of the columns from that output data set. You can see that for each race, I have a new column called race winners one, two, three, which contains the first place, second place, and third place race winners in that order. I used the position text list aggregate column just as a sanity check to ensure that the drivers are listed in the correct order. The benefit with this list aggregate format is that I'm able to see the race winner names in a very compact, readable format. I'm also able to quickly glance at this table and see that for the majority of the races that I have present in this data set that I'm looking at in this table, Max Verstappen and Hamilton seem as though as they're consistently coming in either first or second place. Keep in mind that this data stops in 2021. Overall, ListDAG is a really powerful tool for concatenating text-based data into a readable format.